Young June goes in weighing a lot of things, and you can you can sense the uh, the frustration and uh, and the weight of all these um, things on his shoulders. Yeah, it's good. Absolutely, it's yeah. great. Uh, you're gonna see Young June in that. Uh, and an amazing, he does an amazing job. Ah, oh, yeah, you do. What's up, Joe? How are you doing? Let's you doing? fucking go. Warrior season three, June 29th. Oh my God, this show is amazing. I absolutely <clears throat> love it. Every single second of this show is phenomenal. Um, Look, I'm a, I'm a fan, a huge fan of this show. My girlfriend saw me watching the end of season two not too long ago. And she was yeah. like, what are you watching? And then she got a hooked, and I was like, all right, nah, you stop watching. We got to go back to the beginning. I got to introduce you to the show from the beginning. It is amazing. Um, first question I got to ask you is a little bit about last season, because I want to talk to you first, Andrew, about the fight with Leary. That was intense and insane. Can you talk to me about the physicality shooting that and the difficulty of shooting that scene? Yeah, that was a real tough one. Um, uh, my body actually collapsed because we were mixing up different uh, fight scenes. Uh, then I think I just I, I literally did the nunchuck fight scene and then went straight on. And I, I think I had maybe one day off. And actually, the first day of filming, I couldn't lift my legs. My, <laughs> my, uh, and, and literally, like my, my my hip flexors were so inflamed that I couldn't kick. So we had to um, that that first day of filming. I, I was like, I don't know if I can uh, if I can do this. And it, it was like we had two two days more after that of filming two nights night shoots so um i just had to dig deep man i had to dig deep and it was it was challenging but we got there because of the amazing crew and dean dean's my boy i love him um and we got through that together and we got so the first day it was we were struggling the second day i think we did 63 or 4 setups which is <laughs> setups is different sequence different bits of sequences wow. which was our record up until that point um and uh, but but that was only because we had this amazing crew. It was it was so it felt it felt like we were all unified together. That that yeah that was um, that was that was that was challenging. But we got we got through. Jason, listen, I'm used to seeing Young June with his knives, and in season three, I don't want to spoil anything, but in season three, there's a little bit there's a little bit of time where you don't have those knives to rely on. Talk to me about fighting without the knives and, and how that felt with the stunt choreography for you? <laughs> you know, this is a great question because in season two, in the Mexico uh, episode, yes. uh, every now and then when we film, we, we can, you know, we throw in some imp improvisation, right? And there's one time when, when uh, I have to give up my knives to enter this, this place in Mexico and Assam says to Young Jun, hey, maybe you should learn to fight without your knives sometime. And, and then I say, what do you think holds the knives? You know what I mean? I fold my hands all the time, you know, like, um, so, I mean, yeah, so uh, to answer your question, <laughs> um, it, you know, what, what's great about the writing in season three is that, you know, we see Young Jun always with his knives. And then when we see him without his knives, we instinctually understand that he's now at a disadvantage. He's naked. He's, na he's naked. Exactly. Yeah. You know? Um, and so, um, I mean, for me, I, I love that is something that's so simple. That's not special effects. You know, that's, that's just all of a sudden I'm not holding something. And, and, and yet it has such a significant and, uh, uh, impact on the story and what's going on in the scene and, and raises the stakes to another level. Yeah. Um, and, um, and yeah, so, so to see young June have to scrap for his life, even when it, without his knives, it's, um, really as an actor, it's so fun to perform. That's incredible. You know what? That's the one thing I love about this show is the fight psychology, because I feel like the re whatever's reflected on the characters is kind of reflected with their fighting styles. And even in young June's case in that scene, he was fighting for his life. So he was trying to use everything around him for just in survival mode. And I love that about this show, that it's just an extension of the writing. Um, yeah. One thing I, I wanted to ask you guys about season two was a bombshell. Uh, mm -hmm. that my lean drops on Young June revealing, if for anyone that hasn't seen, this is a little bit of spoiler for season two, but uh, when Young June, or when Young June finds out that uh, they're siblings, that, that uh, they're, your guys' characters are siblings, can you mm -hmm. talk to me uh, about that moment and how we see uh, Assam's uh, relationship explored with my Ling throughout season three? I'm like, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Should have told you. Yeah. Sorry, it didn't, it's yeah. a little bit difficult. Yeah. Um, yeah. Come on, man. Like, yeah. Relax. Bro. Yeah. It's like you've gone too far. It's like, oh, I can't. Yeah, oh, I, yeah, yeah. Now it's, oh, now it's, it's just like, a, now just like, I'm living the line. Yeah, living the line now. Exactly. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, this is definitely the, the the consequence. Season three is never the consequence of the, the the fallout from that bombshell as well. So mm. the relationship is. Um, it's not hunky dory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. not. It's not all roses. And, and, and uh, yeah. Another question I have is: Does Young June fully trust Assam at this point? Uh, in season three, or is there still some trust issues that are lingering there because of that reveal in season two? Definitely, def- there's def- oh, there's definitely God. lingering, uh, you know, doubts and questions. Um, but you know, kind of like in any relationship, it's like even when you have doubts and questions, you're you're still in it, right? Like we're, the thing is, we're entangled. You know, it's this is not logic anymore. These these are feelings. This is these are um, and and. You know, feelings are illogical. So, like to feel and, and have a brother, but know that there's something, um, uh, you know, that sense of betrayal is 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 going to poison that. Yeah. And um, and then coupled with the new situation that we find ourselves in in Chinatown after the riot, this is a whole. That riot was like going through COVID. Now it was right. this huge uh, seismic. Um, shift that that um, that happened, and so this coupled by this um, finding out that your brother is actually you know um, a real brother to your you know your your mm-hmm. worst enemy, um, it just it shakes Young Jun to the core, and I think this is where we we meet Young Jun at the top of season three, and it, and it's complex as well because he's Assam's. Young Jun's best fighter, so yeah. it's not a great time to be losing his best. That's right, fighter for the Tom. And not just, and not only is he his, is he his best fighter, but he's really best friend. But also his like the brains. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like so, it, uh, um, yeah. So it 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 Young Jun goes in weighing a lot of things, and you can you can sense the uh, the frustration and uh, and the weight of all these. Um, things on his shoulders. Yeah, it's a good. Absolutely, it's a great. Uh, you're gonna see Young Jun in, a, in an amazing. He does an amazing job. Ah, oh, yeah, you do. Both of you guys, are <laughs> both of you guys are incredible. Andrew, I have a question for you because it seems like none of Assam's romances end well. Uh, talking about Penny, talking about Vega. Uh, can you talk to me a little bit about uh, about Assam's finding uh, well romance this season? I think he's definitely closed off at first because of all the the, the the tough times that are uh, that he's gone through and and uh, you know being every romance that he's had <laughs> they've either died or or been sent away or, or or you know they've been cursed in some some way so I guess there's uh, there's a lot kind of going on if he can trust if he can open up and 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 what what are the ramific what are the possible ramifications of that. Um, of 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 love in a world where it is just not really conducive, I thought it to yeah, to, yeah. to to that and to to that really. Now, look, there's one person missing from the Hopway trio, and that's my boy Hong. Uh, talk oh, we you. missed him. We forgot him. Oh. <laughs> um, oh. I, gotta, I gotta ask you because I love I love Cheng Ting's uh, performance as Hong. I think he's incredible. Uh, can you talk to me about working with him and how he how he just kind of brings. A lightness to your guys' character. I think yeah, that's that was a much needed energy because I think mm-hmm. that the, well, obviously the story that's going on between Young Jin and Assam, um, even though Young Jin was like the the fresh light in I guess in, in season one, but then now he's going through stuff and there's an arc there. I think Hong brings that uh, that levity and that kind of different mm-hmm. eye and perspective mm-hmm. to that to this to a dynamic to two characters that are going through a lot of stuff, you know. Um, and yeah, Chen does a fantastic job of that. You know, he's so well cast. Yeah, he's so well yeah, cast. Yeah, yeah. He, it's funny because when, <laughs> when he first came on board, we're like, "Who is this guy?" Yeah, we're yeah. checking him out. Like, All right, you know, and uh, he 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 has this personality that um, that he really expresses uh, well in Hong. And um, yeah, yeah, he's he's fantastic, and yeah. uh, he's got a great season. And he really is that sort of. Um, the balance between Assam and Young Jun. Yeah. I cannot wait for people to see the season three premiere on streaming on Max on June 29th. This is the best show on television, best show streaming. It's the best show, period. Thank you guys so much for your time. It is incredible. Thank you. Thank you so much, Joe. Spread, you, Joe. The, spread the word. We get season four. I've been all over Twitter talking about it, my friend. <laughs> I love this show. Thank you guys so much.